Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the Third. This is Daniel White the Third with the Second Coming Watch update. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. <clears throat> According to the Baptist Press, over 100 Christians have been killed in Nigeria in one week as about 50 members of the Church of Christ in Nigeria in the village of Masai took refuge in the home of their pastor. Gunmen opened fire on Saturday and then burned down the house. Reverend Dottery, vice president of the Church of Christ in Nigeria, said 50 of our church members were killed in the church uh, building where they had fled to take refuge. They were killed alongside the wife of the pastor and children. Church officials said that in all, about 100 Church of Christ members were killed in the weekend attacks spread across 12 villages. The radical Islamic group Boko Haram said it was responsible for the attacks and insisted that all Christians abandon Christ and accept Islam. What a tragedy. Second today, the United States says Syria is moving part of its chemical stockpile. According to Reuters, U.S. officials said that Syria has started to move part of its chemical weapons arsenal out of storage facilities. The country's undeclared stockpiles of sarin nerve agent, mustard gas, and cyanide have long worried U.S. officials and their allies in the region. <clears throat> Some fear Assad may want to use the weapons against rebels or civilians, while others said perhaps he is trying to safeguard them from his opponents. Third today, the head of Britain's spy agency says a strike on Iran is likely According to the Jerusalem Post, Sir John Sawyers, the head of the M-16 British spy agency, said that Iran is likely to obtain a nuclear weapon by 2014, making an Israeli or an American strike on the Islamic Republic more likely by then. He credited covert M-116 operations with preventing Iran from developing nuclear weapons earlier on and said Britain is working to make sure sanctions are implemented effectively. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in 2 Timothy 3, 1, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty-four forty-two: Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty-four forty-four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Dear friend, if you are not ready for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, may I strongly encourage you to get ready today. Please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws, just as I have. 
The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Please also understand that because of your sins, you deserve everlasting punishment in a place called hell. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. This includes both physical death when our body goes to the grave and spiritual death in hell, separated from God forever. Now that is the bad news, but thank God we have some good news for you today. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that includes you and me, that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, please pray with me this simple prayer. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. God bless you.